Hey guys, welcome back to Ozer Outdoors. Today's going to be uh, another saltwater tog trip out in the kayak here today. Should be a good day. I'm trying a much different area than my last trip, um, I did really well on, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, beautiful day today. Water super clear, water temps 51. And uh, it's not even blowing wind yet, so it's not supposed to call for much wind today, so today should be a fun day. Uh, I'm not going to get beat up on the weather, so uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be the uh, cut crabs on jig heads, that's how I'm going to do it today. Um, maybe see a few stripers pop up, they're just showing up here in the bay, so. Alright guys, we'll see you out there. Hopefully it's going to be a good day. Alright, about to start fishing here, but uh, basically all you got to do to rig these up is these cut crabs go through one of the sockets and out one of the other ones. Yeah, that looks like the structure I want right there. Spot mark on that. And then you uh, into that socket. I don't really care if it's, I always rip the shell off, but this is personal preference. It looks like there's some black sea bass down there. Which are out of season. We'll see what this does. <clears throat> There he is. Oh, wow. Uh, that's the right kind of bite. Oh, yes. Well, that's the way to start the day off right there. Not a uh, monster, but uh, Rhode Island's got some new regs. It's gonna be three fish, minimum 16 inches. Only one can be over 21. So this might be a nice solid 20 inch fish, male. Um, beautiful fish actually. <clears throat> Just right under that 20, uh, 21 inch limit, you know. It might be 20 inches, 18 inches, something like that. We'll uh, give it a measure here, but that's the way to start the start the day off. Uh, let's see, there he is, right there. Just a nice, healthy male. Love it. And it's 18 inches. So, but enough meat on it to justify keeping. That is not a female, which we're trying to make sure we don't take any of this time of year. Put them on the stringer, bleed them on the ice. Better oh. than a month, this would have been in the dinner pail. What a beautiful black sea bass. <sighs> Not many pretty fish like this in shore, though. Look at the size of that thing. Look at that nice 18 inch black sea bass. All right, you're going back, buddy. You're out of season now. Beautiful colors on them fish, though, huh? That's a real one. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Now that is cool. 
kayak caught. Oh, so down here they got to be 21 inches to keep. Um, I would love for this to be a keeper. Uh, you, right now you can't keep them in the Gulf of Maine uh, because we're south of the Gulf of Maine. <clears throat> Gulf of Maine, excuse me. This could possibly stay with us today. Twenty one. <laughs> hey, all right. Winner, winner. It's a twenty two inches. That's awesome. That's the first keeper kayak caught I've ever caught. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a special moment. Very excited about that. I'm going to double check the regulations just to double check, but. I know they were talking about you did that. I know they were talking about lowering the limit down here, so I don't think it's been approved yet, but we shall see. When in doubt, always check your eggs out. That is cool. Super pumped about that. That's a first for me, and I will absolutely take that. That's a beautiful card. It's a healthy day, honey. It's a nice big female. I would have stayed otherwise, but she is going back because she's got eggs. <clears throat> it's all right. We more. Oh, make some babies for us. There it is. Oh, that's the right one. All right. God, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work to get this fish. I don't even know if it's gonna keep or not. It's gonna be close. But at this point, beggars cannot be choosers. Pretty male, so if he's got the length, he's got the keep. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm talking like that is. It's legal, but that's just barely legal. I'm gonna let him go. There's not much meat on a fish this size. Come on, so close as you. Oh. It's like 16 and an eighth. If I forked the tail, it's it's not worth it's not worth stretching. It's a nice fish though. Right idea fish. Maybe I'm onto something here. Maybe I found those. Found some life here. Took forever. Probably did eight stops in between all this nonsense. Trying deep, trying shallow. But like I said, found some life, so maybe this is going to be the, the answer. Way up high and shallow. Oh, yeah, already, huh? That's a real one, too. Pretty fish. That one's actually gonna be over. 
Look at the gold on that fish. That is beautiful, both sides. <laughs> Just make sure you're, you're the right size. Oh, you're not. I mean, I mean you are, but I'm, you're not. So there's 16 on the dot. I'm not gonna, like I said, we're not gonna kill these these close ones. So yeah. let's get back down there. We found ourselves a little bit of a bite, so we can actually reuse it. Here's that crab too. It's all mounted up. <coughs> God, they fight great in the shallow water, too. Of course, it's a female. Ugh. So that's a keeper, but you're gonna swim another day, honey. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. You lucky day. Looks like a decent one. Next turn down there. Of course, I catch I catch the decent one. And there's another. female <sighs> gonna say you don't have eggs you might be a male no no you got no chin at all you got messed up by too but you're gonna swim another keeper send her back This one's got potential to stay. Unless, of course, another female. Just curious. That's a nice healthy female going back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we are. There we go. That's the right one. It's just the wrong sex. 
And this one here, she's gonna swim. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that this one's a keeper. It's probably kicking close to five pounds. Definitely the biggest tog of the day so far. Oh, hey, hey, easy, easy, honey, easy, easy. Easy, you don't want you going back and getting hurt. Keep this connection quick. Ah, beautiful female. Look at that. Oh, you lucky day, honey. Go back and make some babies. Little, little tiny bites. Little scratches. Hey, all right. Little male. I think he's gonna be the size we need. I'm gonna give him a measure to be sure. Big teeth. Oh yeah. There we go. That's one we don't have to stretch. He's not the biggest one of the day. But as far as it goes to get my limit he's gonna be just fine Just curious. Yeah, she's a keeper, but she's gonna swim. That's a good bite. Round up the limit of males. There he is. No, oh, need to have to measure him. It's a nice, strong, healthy fish. That's the one that rounds it out. Another nice 17 incher. I forgot what it felt like. It's been a little while. Yeah, that's a 
nice one. That, that would stay otherwise. If it weren't a female and I wasn't limited out. That's a nice one. <sighs> All beat up, but pretty fish. Gold color on him. He was a keeper. Ooh. Yeah, that one's got some shoulders. Another one that would have stayed. one of the day. Uh, last one of the day would have kept. It's a fitting way to end it. Um, so, just to wrap it up, today was a... Uh, Pretty damn good day. Uh, probably caught about a dozen or so fish that could have been kept. Uh, I'll get this guy back in the water. Yeah, see you later, buddy. About a dozen or so fish I could have kept. Uh, biggest one for tog was about maybe uh, maybe five pounds, six pounds. Um, that was that big female we threw back there out front. Uh, got that bonus codfish, which is probably the really big highlight of the day. Uh, went through a bunch of crabs. The entire day was caught on uh, pretty much just jig head here. It's an ounce and a half lima bean jig with a uh, half cut green crab on it. Nothing special. Really fun day. Um, Still very impressed with, with how this rod's handling these fish. I haven't gotten anything over 22 inches on it yet, but uh, actually having a lot of fun with this. A little bit lighter rod than I used, used to use. And that's it. Um, if you like what you saw, like it, subscribe to the channel if you want. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.